everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page eight. And unfortunately, I did all the A sides before I hit the record button. So I'm gonna go back over what I've done so far and give you the measurements. Um, and I apologize about that. that happens once in a while. I hate it, but it happens. So this is a cut apart, what you see here on top, and it is uh, not perfectly six by six, but very close. So it's just cut apart and then matted on some black cardstock. So make sure you have a piece of cardstock that's about six and a quarter by six and a quarter, and then trim it down to fit your cut apart. These two strips right here are from the 12 by 12 collection pack, um, the Patterns and Solids collection pack. Okay, now that I've told you that, let's go, let's go on the inside. So there are two flaps on the top and bottom, one, one on the top, one on the bottom. The top flap is four and a half inches by eight and a half inches across, you're gonna score a half inch on this four and a half inch side. Okay, that's the top flap. The bottom flap is, hopefully I'm still in frame, five and a half by eight. You're gonna score a half inch along the five and a half inch side. So if you turn this thing and put it into your scoreboard this way, it's five and a half inches across, you're gonna score a half inch. The last piece is this three inches tall, by eight and a half inches across, you're gonna score at a uh, half inch so that you have a finished three by eight uh, flap, okay? And that is as far as I've gotten, and then I was taking a break to go collect my um, inside papers, and when I get back, we'll have those and we'll be ready to lay out. So this is from the 12 by 12 collection uh, pack, it's cut apart. This is from Patterns and Solids, 12 by 12 collection pack. And then this is from the 12 by 12 patterns and solids. Okay, so that should help you build this page. I apologize for not recording the actual build of it. I will try not to do that again in the album. And that's it for now. Next time we get together, we'll be working on um, decorating the inside. Okay, I'll be back soon. Hey everyone, it's Daphne and I've got everything laid out for the inside of page eight. And this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. So let me run down where I got my papers. This one, the centerpiece here, is from the eight by eight collection pack. The top and bottom here are from the Patterns and Solids. Uh, this is some scrap left over from the Patterns and Solids. And this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Um, Yes, uh, it's the big pumpkins on the 12 by 12 collection pack. Then of course I have uh, an ephemera card right here. So that is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna set these things aside so we can go ahead and start um, tacking everything down. Okay, I think I inked everything while I was away. Double check and make sure I hit play since I missed it on the the top side of page eight. I apologize again for doing that. <clears throat> I don't like humidity, generally speaking, and it's very humid today, but it sure is nice when you're crafting because it gives you just that little bit of extra time with your glue. Normally it's dry as a desert here, so it's a little unusual. Okay, and this is gonna go down here again from the 12 by 12 Patterns and Solids pack. So I started, uh, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but I started the whole project with a complete collection, which is uh, an eight by eight, 12 by 12 collection pack, 12 by 12 Patterns and Solids and then all the accompanying coordinating elements, die cuts, chipboard, stickers, ephemera cards. And if you buy it from us, you're gonna get some coordinating charms and ribbon. Yeah, okay. Wow, I just had a sm small panic attack that I glued this in upside down, but I didn't. And then after this page, I am taking a break today because I feel like I'm gonna start making mistakes. I can almost anticipate it. 
because I forgot to turn the record button on once already. That's a, that's a good sign that it's time to call it a day. Okay. It goes like that. And then let's start by laying down the two outside um, pieces. So that's one of our options. Let's look at it real quick. With the print, I think that's too busy, so I'm gonna go with the solids. And that's busy enough, yeah. I think uh, having these orange ones flipped over is just too, too much. This is going to fit right here. And it looks color blocked because of this black strip here. So I'm gonna actually trim that off because it's only on one side. When I say color block, it's um what I mean by that is that there's a gap of, car of cardstock between the two colors. And my, my goal was to actually have this fit um, across. I didn't want to have gaps here. And part of that is because I'm trying to reinforce this three inch band to make it as rigid as possible. Oh, I need to re-ink that edge. So, and um, sometimes Graphic 45's print isn't perfectly square to the pattern. Um, and sometimes that frame will be more to one side than the other. Ooh, we got an option. What do you guys think? Let's do this. And here's why. Um, on my other page, I can't remember what I put up here, but I think I left it a solid so that you could actually journal up here. So you can journal here, here, but you're not going to be able to journal on this, but you can journal right on the journaling card itself. So I am going to flip it over and use that side. And of course, you can also just put a picture over this. You know, like this is six by six, so if you had a five by five, you would have a little bit of orange and a little bit of this sticking out all the way around. I don't have a, let me, let me cut something to show you. Let's do it real quick. So you could easily put a five by five photo there, four by four, and you still get kind of all of this. And or you can just use it as a journaling space. So you got some options. Just because a journaling card is showing doesn't mean you have to use it that way. Now both of these strips I um, measured and put marks on both sides and trimmed to fit. And it was, it was important to do that because I noticed I didn't get this on square and it was actually off quite a bit. So make sure when you're measuring these two strips that you're actually laying it down um, and marking it so that it fits as, as close as possible. I definitely did not get a 90 degree angle here, but you can solve that by hand trimming it, by marking it on either side before you trim it and then lining up your pencil marks. Don't just necessarily line it up on your grid. Hopefully that makes sense. I've gone over that lots and lots of times. Okay, and you can see I'm, I'm pretty cockeyed, but I am gonna live with it. It's magnified by the fact that this is a grid pattern. If it was a floral pattern, it would almost disappear. So you may wanna, if you get yours in straighter, great. If not, you may wanna consider putting a floral pattern here to mask um, anything that you're off by. So that's it for page eight, everybody. Isn't that pretty? I love these cut-aparts. I think they're so neat to feature um, 
as a large element in your collections. Now for me, I would not likely put a photo here. Um, I would just have this be sort of the presentation of the page. I would potentially put a photo here and I would definitely put photos inside and likely a photo here. But I would test it. Um, I would lay my photo in and see really what it looks like peeking out from under this flap before I made a decision. If I didn't like the way it looked, I'd make all my pictures go on the inside. Okay, part of, the re part of my thought process in designing is when I'm creating flaps and thinking about where pictures go, I wanna think about, and you should too, how things are gonna close and what's going to be sticking out um, from under your flaps. Because, not so much on the bottom, but on the top, let's say it's a large image of a face. You don't want part of somebody's hair sticking out after you close the, the flaps, it, it would look a little funny. So it's just something to think about when you're putting your albums together. You know, when you close it all and there's pictures there, what's gonna be peeking out underneath your flaps? Okay, that's it for now. I'll uh, be back soon. We'll continue working on this album.